And welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Michaela Loves Gymnastics from the workhouse. Yes, I'm at work. I shouldn't even be doing this, but I just found some horrible news and I just had to express myself real quick. R.I.P. Rest in heaven. Sleep in peace. Journey well done, lady. To our very first African-American all-around champion in the United States of America, Miss Diane Durham. Diane Durham was a gymnast. This is a part of my Black History Month series, and I'm sorry, and I absolutely hate that this series started the way it is starting, but Diane Durham was the national champion of the USA from in 1983. She competed and beat some of the biggest names in the sport at the time. Julianne McNamara, Mary Lou Redden, um, Kathy Johnson, all of these big names. Teresa Talavera, all of these big names in gymnastics. <sighs> Diane was right up there, if not better, if not equally as good as all of these girls who I just named. Diane missed the 1984 Olympics because she got hurt in 1983 after nationals, so she wasn't able to compete at the 1984, I mean 1983 World Championships. So because she was not a world team member in 1983, when she got injured in 1984 at nationals, Bella and Marta was not able to petition her into the trial process, so she missed out. But she was our first national champion. And let's all celebrate her memory. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, or whatever, share her videos. This is Black History Month. She was the very first black national champion in gymnastics. So let's get the word out. And also, I want to talk about another young lady who I did not even know about. Um, I got to get my phone to get her name right. This Diane News just... It's just not the news that I was hoping to um, to um, to wake up to today. And let's also celebrate the very first African American woman to make an Olympic team. She made the 1980 Olympic team. Her name is Lucy Collins. I never even knew about this young lady. So do your research on African American gymnasts because there has been a lot. She was the first African American girl to make an Olympic team. Sadly, her Olympics was the 1980 Olympics, which were boycotted, but she's still an Olympian nonetheless and still the first African American girl to make an Olympic team. Um, from what I can see, she made a run for the 2000, um, the 1984 Olympic team, but it seemed like she retired or quit after 1982 because that's the last gymnastics competition I could find her in. I couldn't even find her in NCAA competition. So if you know more about Lucy Collins, please drop down in the comment section and let's talk about it. And if you want to share your fond memories of Diane Drum, drop down in the comment section. This is a sad day for the gymnastics community, especially the African-American gymnastics community. But this young lady name will be celebrated, Diane Durham, R.I.P., and Lucy Collins. We still have you here, sister, and I'm going to get your name out there, and we're going to put some respect on your name. We're going to try to get you into the... We're going to try to get both of these young ladies on this channel into the USA Gymnastics Hall of Fame. You were the first black gymnast to make an Olympic team, and you are the first black national champion. I think these qualify you know, um, being a part of USA Gymnastics history. I actually think Diane was technically Bella's and Marta's first national champion. Technically. Realistically, I think. So, drop down in the comment section and let's talk. 